Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. With Guam and Fire Stadium, the Forestry Division at the Department of Agriculture has been busy. According to Director Chelsea Munyabrecht, since January of this year, the division, along with the Fire Prevention Program, has fought 42 fires. That's 42 fires that have happened since January that they were able to intervene and stop. There's actually been over 127 total fires that have been caught by satellite imagery, but most of those have gone either unreported or inaccessible. Those fires devastated much of the southern part of the island. There's been several thousands of acres of our island that have burned that we've not been able to stop. Munya Brecht says the number one most important thing the community can do is if they see suspicious activity or behavior, say something and report it to the proper authorities. These are not hunters, because hunters are people who respect our land and respect our culture and respect the island. Poachers don't. And poachers set these fires so that um, the grass will you know, be fresh and they can come and shoot the deer. She adds the fires don't just impact the land. They impact the soil, the microbes in the soil. They impact our oceans, our fish population. They destroy our coral reefs. And they cause all this sedimentation that runs off into our rivers and then out into our ocean. So it's much more of just, oh, they're burning because they want to catch deer. They're destroying our land and destroying our oceans and destroying our reefs. And that's the impact that affects all of us. As a proud director, Munya Brecht praises her forestry division for the incredible work that they have done and continue to do, despite not getting overtime or hazardous pay, which wasn't budgeted for, but she's hoping to include in fiscal year 2020. Put their lives at risk, protecting our resources that they're not getting paid for. And then when they're not fighting these fires, they're patrolling looking for the fires, and that's how we know that they're the first responders, because they're out looking for the fires and are the first ones on the scene when they identify them. And then when it's the wet season, they're out reforesting these areas by planting new trees so that it holds the soil together and protects our resources. Since taking the helm at the Department of Agriculture, she wanted to pass along the following to the island community. That your Department of Agriculture is absolutely phenomenal and that we are working really hard in many ways that people are not aware of, but it will be my job to make sure that everyone in our community is aware of all the work that's being done through this department and how we are working to manage and protect Guam's resources. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfris. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.